Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GoLineSportsMississippi.com. And uh, once again, happy Thanksgiving. Today I'm joined by Coach Todd Breland of the Laurel Golden Tornadoes. And Friday night between the Briggs, the Golden Tornadoes will be taking on a familiar foe in Wayne County. The last time these two teams met, Laurel got the best of them 23-17, and they're looking to do the same again Friday night. Talk about, Coach, this rematch. I know uh, both uh, two good teams coming in at 11-2. and two. Uh, You know, you're familiar with them. They're familiar with you. How big is this game? Uh, it, the game is what it is. You know, it's for the South State Championship. Of course, we know them. They know us. And, you know, what happened here a few weeks back, four or five weeks ago, means nothing. It ain't in what account, what happens here Friday night. Talk to me about... Uh, you know, this game, what it means to you as a coach, you know, uh, playing for the South State title, uh, a win gets you gets you a trip to Starkville. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, as a coach, you're satisfied, you know, you know, happy with the kids, uh, proud of where we are. And, you know, we're trying to take that next step, get to the next level. And, and uh, but to, you know, reach this game two years in a row, I'm just, just awful proud of the kids the way they fall. Talk to me about what it would mean for a tornado victory. Everything, you know, uh, you know, but you know, it's just a, it's a special moment for us to be here. You know, the kids have worked hard, been through a lot this year, and, and, and they're sitting in a situation most people thought they couldn't be. Talk to me. Uh, what are what are some big things? Uh, looking at Wayne County, what are some things that they do well? Everything you know, they run the football well. Hodo sprays around on offense very well, and of course, they're you know they're very good on defense with a solid front seven and a good back half. And you know, they're just not a weak spot on the field. With it being Thanksgiving, what are some things that you're thankful for? Everything I'm looking around, just so blessed to be. I have had the opportunity to lead this team and, and to be around these kids and this community is just a blessing. All right, check back with us Friday night for the game story. And, uh, well, this is the only update, so we'll see you Friday night.